So, this is my cycloid um, demonstrating its brachistochrome property. So, imagine you were uh, making a roller coaster that starts up here and ends down here. Very boring roller coaster, but you wanted to find the quickest path to roll down from the top to the bottom. Now, your first guess might be what a straight line would do it, like that. But actually, this lower part, although it's longer, is quicker. And I'll roll these down. And hopefully you can see that it's actually quicker to go on the bottom part. I'll do it again. So the bottom part is quicker even though it's longer because it accelerates quicker at the beginning. Now this curve along the bottom is called a cycloid. And you make a cycloid by having a straight line and a circle. And you roll the circle along and a point on the circumference um, traces out a cycloid. And what we've got here is, is just a quarter of it. Just this section here, turn the other way up. And this cycloid is actually the quickest way you can roll down from, the, from one point to another. No other curve would be, would be quicker than this one. It's the, and because of that, it's called a brachistochrome, meaning the shortest time. I'll do it one more time. Well, that's the cycloid as brachistochrome.